Hello and welcome to the section 5 of the course Delightful Decoder. Now in this section we are going to take a look at couple of points. We are going to learn about Burp Suit Decoder and their features. Decoder module in Burp Suite. Now in this video we are going to take a look at couple of points. First of all we will learn about the overview of decoder and various uses of decoder. So what you can do here you can start your Burp Suite and you can check decoder inside it so now guys uh, i'm at the desktop of windows 10 machine and i've started the burp suite let me open this here it is and here in this section we are learning about decoder so here you can see that decoder is available here if you click here and you can see here that uh, it's very simple to use decoder so basically the use of decoder is to encode or decode anything you can see here on the right hand side that decode as and all the options are available here encode as and all the options are available for example if you want to encrypt anything or encode anything then you can do it using encoder here if you want to decode anything then decode is also available here for example url to html or html to base64 algorithm that can be done using decoder right it's very simple now let's talk about uh, the features of decoder so here it is on the official website information is available regarding burp suit decoder so burp decoder is a simple tool for transforming encoded data into its canonical form right so it is a very simple tool as i already told you inside burp suite the use of burp decoder is to basically encode or decode the data right or for transmitting raw data into various encoded and hashed forms like base64 to html or to url to any other encoding technique it is capable of intelligently recognizing several encoding formats using heuristic techniques so it can also provide you information about the algorithm that data is using so loading data into decoder you can load data in two ways there are two ways to load data inside decoder mm -hmm. first is type or paste it directly into the top editor panel so you can see inside that that this is the editor panel and simply you can type or paste here the data select data anywhere within burp and choose send to decoder from the contest menu yeah it is also a very useful technique for example in proxy you have intercepted any request so you can simply right click here and you can simply click here that send to decoder all right then click here and it will automatically be inside the decoder then you can decode or encode anything inside it. So these are the two ways. What are the various transformations? So various transformations are different transformations can be applied to different parts of the data. The following decode and encode operations are available. So basically I can convert URL to HTML or HTML into URL that can be done. So these all transformations can be done using decoder. Additionally, various common hash functions are also available depending upon the capabilities of java platform so the part of the data to be transmitted is colorized accordingly a new editor is open showing the result of all applied transformations so the new editor will open which will provide you the result so this is all about uh, the burp decoder that how you can get the data inside decoder so there are two ways either you type or paste it or you can send it into the decoder inside burp suite right and these are the various transformations available inside it so this is basic information about burp suite decoder 